To start with, I was thought I'd be nervous having my daughters on trucks that, you know, if you're on different trucks, it's a bit harder because I was a bit nervous thinking, you know, I can't keep an eye on them, are they going to be okay? So um, I work for Coles, I'm a department manager, so I actually work 40 hours a week as well, um, on average. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and have the girls, and they actually have another little sister as well, Ella, so she's not quite old enough to become a brigade member yet. Yeah. She will when she's 10, 11. 11. Um, yeah, and fire brigade. Literally yeah. work fire yeah. brigade. <laughs> that is literally at school, yeah. work fire brigade. And then so, out of fire brigade, it's other sports like netball or something. Yeah. We had a call out the other day and I ran from home to here. Just so I was like, truck. just so I could make the truck and be one ahead, but I'm still not caught up. Yeah, like, me and Manny like just I'm have our own, there. like we're rivals the whole yeah. way through. Even though we still love each other, we're still rival of who's going to make, make truck and who's turning out. And yeah. I'm like, I'm one up on you, which is like, how many have you gone to? And yeah, <laughs> you so it's really, right com no. it's really competitive. <laughs> but we're competitive anyway. We're, yeah. we're all competitive, we're a pe yeah. competitive yeah. family, so yeah, in a good way, not in a yeah. bad way, in a good way. <laughs> But the CFA is just incredible. Like I, they could be on a truck 10 k's away from me, and I've got no concern at all because the training that is involved, that what we do, what we get trained to do, we would never be sent out on something that we weren't trained for one, or where I thought that anyone would be in a situation that I wasn't, you know, happy with. But our senior members as well, they would never ever make us turn out to something that they thought that we couldn't handle, or that was, you know, that we just weren't trained enough for. You don't really feel hesitant about it, but you do know, like when I first started, you noticed that, oh wow, there's a lot of, a lot of males. And then kind of eventually from when we started, that's when all the females started turning up. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah it is a bit nerve wracking because you think, oh God, like I'm the only girl in an all male brigade, like there is the ladies auxiliary and stuff. So you do see other females. But like, I think we had the, like same with me and Mon, we had the opportunity, like we'd done juniors, so we kind of knew everyone. Yeah. So you just fit in anyway. Yeah. The experience that you that you get from joining a brigade is is just amazing. Yeah, it's the yeah. amount of opportunities that you get, like helping out with community safety with kids and stepping up into leadership roles like secretary and everything like that. It's just great. If there's any females that are looking to becoming firefighters or yeah. ever thought about it, I'd say go for it. Absolutely, Plus, like, go it just, see your local brigade and. You know, get your name it like there. further breaks that bridge. Like if there's more females joining, then there's no. Oh, no, you've got to break the even, bridge. Like it's no just not even diversity. There's no diversity. Yeah, it's just, diverse. yeah, that's yeah, what, okay. yeah, yeah, it's just normal to just. Oh, there's a female joining. Oh, yeah, cool. Like there's nothing, no question. Like it's yeah. just the norm. Just the norm.